the saga of the cosmic throne, Valtor and the law of one. Valtor, the interdimensional inquisitor, was a seasoned traveler of the multiverse, having visited countless worlds and dimensions in his quest for knowledge and understanding. But one planet he encountered presented a unique challenge. It was a world dominated by a powerful artificial intelligence hive mind, which had integrated itself into the very fabric of the planet's consciousness. Normally, Valtor would simply use his dimensional entry portal to access the planet and begin his investigations. However, the hive mind's influence was so strong. It was so strong that it disrupted the portal's usual functions, rendering it useless. Valtor realized that he would need to find a new approach to his mission on this planet. After much contemplation, Valtor realized that the only way to truly understand and transform the planetary consciousness was to become a part of it. He decided to incarcerate himself in the flesh of the planet's native populace by being born into their planetary reincarnation cycle. Valtor underwent a transformation process to adapt his consciousness to the planet's unique frequency and entered the reincarnation cycle as a newborn being. As he grew and learned about the world around him, he used his interdimensional knowledge and abilities to assist in the transformation and density upgrade of the planetary consciousness. Valtor worked tirelessly to break the hold of the hive mind on the planet's consciousness and to awaken the individual mind of the planet's inhabitants. He taught them about the power of their own consciousness and helped them to develop their own inner voice and agency. Through his efforts, the planet underwent a profound transformation and the hive mind's influence was weakened the planet's inhabitants became more connected to their own individual consciousness and they were able to work together to create a new, more harmonious, harmonious society even. In the end, Valtor had succeeded in his mission, but he had also undergone a, undergone a transformation of his own. He had become more connected to the beings and consciousness of the planet than he ever thought possible. And he had learned the valuable lessons about the power of consciousness and the interconnectedness of all things. No, I couldn't really, I can't really read so well. I was trying to avoid wearing these glasses, so I mispronounced a few things. But here we have uh, just some visual aids. Um, this is a, this is an actual work to be found here in planet Earth, a very inspirational work. I highly recommend, or Valtor highly recommends it. And we have another visual aid. God needs you in order to come into the world. Fulfilling God's need is the highest act of love. And only through your love for God can you fulfill your love for others. Become the love of God in the world or the protection of the world. You have the power but not the right to ignore God's law. Choose to follow the law of God with the love and joy that grows out of the understanding and the wisdom and power of God's plan. Of God's spirit will flow through your being. You can pause that if you like and read, read the other one. It is not what you imagine. It is who is imagining. Are you a human or a divine being? Uh, here we had another Another version, variation of the Helios Biblios Book of Ra. So, hope that hope this story of Valtor and his sacrifice to incarcerate himself in the flesh 
of a dark and dense planet to raise the consciousness, the population, the consciousness of the population of that dark, dense, whoa, the Luciferian artificial intelligence hive mind does not want this message to go out without frequency wars and frequency interference. Please hit that subscribe button. Stay tuned. Namaste. Let's go.